good morning. It's Monday the 16th of April today. So luckily I've managed to wake up in time to get ready and go to my cognitive assessment today, which is at the hospital and it's going to take about four hours, they told me. And I'll be getting the hospital transport there with my wheelchair. So I just need to get in the shower and get ready in a sec. But first, um, I sort of had an issue where my mum, for the first time ever, decided to look up my video logs and found them and found parts that mentioned her and essentially she said that um, I was invading her privacy. Oh, sorry, that's my uh, really loud alarm. Not sure if you can hear that. It's about four rooms away. So, as I was saying, my mum saw the videos that mentioned her and she was unhappy, uh, although she sort of admitted those things happened. She said that it's because it's so difficult living with um, someone who's disabled like me. So anyway, I've agreed to set those videos to private because she told me that I was invading her private life and I started to feel guilty about it. And when I was think and I thought about it and I thought, you know, maybe I am a bit in the wrong there to share that information about her. So all the videos that mention sort of arguments I've had with my mum or conflicts or things she's done to me like that are going to be set to private uh, over the next few days. And that way I can make up with her. Otherwise, she said that if I don't set them to private, she'll chuck me straight out of the house and into the streets, basically. So enough about her. I am i can't talk about her anymore, at least not for a while. So I just asleep when I sort of vaguely heard my phone ringing and that's what woke me up this morning. Uh, and I called the number back and it was... Uh, the social care people at the council and it looks like they've left a voicemail message but I've been a bit scared to listen to it because we made a complaint to them that they that they said that I they didn't ever have to wake me up or help me with things because it was completely untrue uh, so I think this might be a response to that and I really don't want to know what it says but I'm just going to listen to it now because I have to. <laughs> to listen to the message again, press 1. To save the message, press 2. Your message will be saved for 7 days. End of messages. So that was a voicemail from my social worker who I also, you know, had to write to and say that I was unhappy because she didn't turn up to the last three meetings we had after arranging them with me and her deciding the date and then my mum taking time off work and she didn't she either didn't even call to let us know she wasn't coming or on one occasion she called like 10 minutes before the meeting started and said she was snowed in even though there was no snow at that time Hello, so I'm ready to go out now. Uh, the transport could come any time from about now, over the next hour. And I'm actually looking forward to just getting out of the house. I feel like I've been stuck in here for a, a while. So, and I'm, and I'm interested to see what the tests are gonna be. I think it might be quite interesting. I've got some beans on toast for brunch before I go.
They're here. Hello, so I finished my cognitive test this afternoon and um, it turned out it was too late for me to get hospital transport back because they had all gone home by the time my appointment finished at five and there was nobody at reception that had closed as well and so I managed to drive myself from the hospital into the sort of main shopping area and I'm hiding in McDonald's because it's so noisy in here and rowdy that nobody's going to notice me sitting in the corner talking to my phone. So the appointment actually was um, a little bit upsetting because after speaking to the psychologist, the neuropsychologist and doing all the tests, she told me that my score for some of the tests was lower than what somebody with dementia or severe brain damage would get. Um, and she said that since I don't have dementia and there's no physical brain damage been identified, that it means that it's a psychological like issue and then exploring that a bit more talking to her it sounds as if she's saying that I'm having dissociative episodes as a